Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here, Thursday the 4th of March with your flying weather outlook for the weekend and week ahead. Brought to you exclusively with Fly Magazine in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Now, yes, I know we still can't fly at the moment, uh, but we're getting pretty close. And of course, dates have been announced for flying and um, it's 29th of March when we can actually uh, fly uh, solo or with a family member and then 12th of April for training. Yes, I can finally get back in the air. So looking forward to that. Now, what I'm going to do is in the lead up to that, I'm going to give you some long range forecasts. Now, promise me you won't take them too literally. Um, but we do get models here that go ahead that far into that middle part of April. So what I'm going to do is from probably the end of next week, is start to talk about some longer range forecasts and uh, see what you think. Now, they'll be available first exclusively to members of the Flyer Club, um, but I will make them available more widely as well. But if you want to get those forecasts first, then become a member of the Flyer Club. Uh, and you can go to flyer.co.uk for more information on that. Uh, OK, then, how do things shape up through this weekend and this week? If you can get out there flying, perhaps for a maintenance flight, or if you're on the professional pathway. The story really is make the most of it. We've got some mist and fog, we're still under high pressure, gradually breaking down into some showers this weekend in places, and then things change next week as the jet stream takes hold. Now, I'm going to be talking about the jet stream in my Aviation Weather School Part 2 course, which starts this weekend. If you've not been along to Weather School yet, you need to come along. Go to weatherschool.co.uk to book your place now on Aviation Weather School Part 1. All you do is go down to Aviation here, click on Aviation Weather School Part 1, and you can find out there what we do, how much fun it is, and it really is good fun. It's presented live by me over the course of two Saturday mornings um, between 09.30 and 12.30 hours. And the next course is on the Saturday mornings of the 17th and the 24th of April. We're going to be flying by then, so spend your Saturday morning learning more about weather spend your Saturday afternoon getting out there and flying. The aim is to get your planning five days in advance accurately and to build your confidence in weather, why it happens, how it happens and how you can forecast it yourself and take you beyond that PPL. So it'd be great to see you there. Go to weatherschool.co.uk now to book your place. OK, this is how um, this afternoon shapes up. Thursday afternoon, weak cold front coming onto these eastern coasts. This is going to be bringing uh, some drizzle. I think generally it's flyable for just about everywhere, but I'm going to say marginal just at times as that cold front comes in producing some rain. Always better the further west you are. Uh, for Friday, high pressure in control. Need to watch out for some local mist and fog patches, northern England and Scotland at first, but generally I think it's a better day for most. It becomes flyable across most areas. Base is two to 4,000 feet, tops at about 7,000 feet. Just watching out for some lower cloud, just moving in on this northeasterly across southern areas and probably breezier there as well. But I'm still going to say it's flyable here as it will be across Ireland too. For Saturday, high pressure over central and southern areas. And I'm going to say a high risk of some fog patches across England and Wales first thing. The air is still relatively dry, so I think they'll clear away quite quickly. And then we should be into fair conditions. I think generally flyable uh, across most places through the course of Saturday. I suspect one or two locations could hold on to mist and fog for a time. Bases around two to 4,000 feet tops at about 6,000 feet. Thicker cloud across central and western Ireland. Marginal conditions here, perhaps non-VFR later, just misty and murky. I think everywhere visibility may be reduced a touch on Saturday, but probably still OK for some flying. Now for Sunday, again, I think this could be a misty, murky one. I'm going to write down here mist and I think some fog patches first thing. Very hit and miss on this one. Need to check it out carefully. Um, I'll be updating at weatherweb.net frequently on this. Go and have a look at weatherweb.net. I, I do the fast forecast on there every day, which goes ahead for the next five days, which is essentially uh, this forecast, but updated daily. If you go and have a look there, weatherweb.net, click on the premium service. You can get a free three-day trial of that now. So go and have a look at that there. Um, but I think I'm going to have to say non to marginal across many western areas of the country. I just think mist, low cloud, murk, one to 3,000 foot bases, five to 8,000 foot tops. Further east, oh, one to 
3,000 foot bases again, tops probably about 4,000 feet, probably better across eastern parts. So marginal to VFR, I think, but Saturday looks the, the better of the days, although really tricky to pin down the detail for Saturday, for Saturday as well. Monday, misty, murky, foggy start across some areas. That will be clearing away. And then we're into generally fair conditions across Scotland, across Northern England. I do think increasing cloud and some rain for Western Ireland, for southwestern parts of England as well. Visibility deteriorating here, so becoming non to marginal VFR because of that. And then into the middle stage next week, Tuesday, Far more mobile situation, westerly wind, rain spreading its way eastwards. I do suspect that we become VFRable from the west behind that cold front. Non VFRable along the front, so I mean bedded CVs, but becoming much brighter from the west. Some showers for northern or western Scotland. Fairly breezy, yes, but I think it is flyable. And then for Wednesday, well, a wetter day, a windier day. I think generally non VFRable in these unsettled conditions. Heavy showers following from the west, so I think it's just too darn windy through Wednesday. The jet stream, as I say, smack over the top of us. So, um, if you can fly, you lucky things, I think get it in over the next few days if you can. Now, if you've not been to Aviation Weather School Part 1, book your place now uh, on the mornings of the 17th and the 24th of April. It'd be great to see you there. Just go to weatherschool.co.uk and you can book your place straight away. Any questions, just let me know. Um, okay, I think that's all that we need to cover, isn't it? Yeah, whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Um, watch out for a big announcement from the Fly Club about uh, a special little thing I'm doing next week. Uh, but you can uh, watch out for that announcement by following me on social media as well. OK, I will leave you with that for now, whatever you do. Thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining. Have a great weekend and bye for now.